Hi, I'm Susan for SusanWinter.net. Thank you so much for coming to my channel and thank you for joining me. I want to talk today about fearlessness. Fearlessness, having the courage to love, and how do we discern what is foolishness and what is fearlessness. So let me start with the overall premise. If you want love, you're going to have to accept that love involves hurt. This is the number one reason people run. Everyone is afraid of being hurt. Oh, I want to feel, but I don't want to hurt. So I liken this to people on, you know, like in, in the sporting world, like, you know, I want to play football, but don't tackle me because it might hurt. I mean, if you're going to be dating, I strongly suggest you show up. See, here's what I don't understand. Why do people want to enter the realm of dating and love and get in relationships? And then when they find somebody that they like, that activates them, what do they do? The first thing, oh, no, no, I can't be here. I can't be here. What? Why were you there to begin with? What is going on here? Why do we have a sea of confused souls who are all getting in the game and the minute they find somebody they like, they, they, no, but you know, now I can't play. I could play when I didn't like anybody, but now that I like you, I think it's time for me to leave the field. I mean, does that make sense? I, I, this, is, this is beyond me. It's beyond me. So let's jump cut to the way to get past this, okay? If you've ever been scared, and I don't think you are if you're the kind of person that's watching these videos, but let's say you have a moment of fear or intrepidation. What's the worst thing that's going to happen? You might get your feelings hurt. You may be rejected. You may be taken on a ride. They may get fearful. They may retract, which leaves you holding the bag, your heart like, okay, here it was. You didn't want it. Okay. Are you alive? Yes. Does life go on? Yes. Can you weather it? Yes. What did you just do? I gave it a fair shot. Is that the right attitude? Yes. If you show up to do something, why not try and do it? Now, what your partner does, we can't control that. So here is the point of discernment. And what I mean by that is there is fearlessness and there's foolishness. All right. Fearlessness means I am going to feel what I'm going to feel. That's for me. Anyway, that, that has been the thing that's helped me. I'm here to feel my love my trip, my journey, my joy. I want to feel, touch, and taste everything in this relationship. That is my personal goal. You're here. Love if you would feel the same way too. That's great. Not necessary, but it would be awesome if you did. However, don't edit me. I've come to feel alive. I don't get to be activated all the time by people. So now that I've found this, I want to experience this delicious feeling. This is what life is. This is life. So if you're willing to be fearless, admit that you are going to show up and in and of itself, that is the courageous journey. Part two, is it foolishness? Well, you know, you're educated enough that you're not going to throw yourself at something meaningless. You're educated enough that your instincts will stop you if it's way too sketchy and you're buying into some kind of false image. But Foolishness would be overriding all your instincts. And foolishness tends to not be aligned with fearlessness. Foolishness is more of a naivete, of a wishful, hopeful ending. And it's more relegated to what we hope the other person is going to give us than our internal belief within ourselves. So the key to enjoying your experience, your trial and error, of love and dating and relationships is to manage the unmanageable thing that terrifies everybody else. Fear of being hurt. If you can, in your mind, negotiate that one. Philosophically, logically, however you need to do it, and you can wrap your head around that, that it is not fearful to be hurt, that you don't do it. You don't, you, you don't do wild abandon, just throw yourself off a cliff to a person, but that you are willing to take risk. You are risk tolerant, right? Not risk averse. Then you will find 
this unbelievable strength within yourself where you do indeed become fearless. You know, I long thought as a proponent of love, as somebody who believes in love, I've got a useless argument if I have to convince people to love because I know why they don't, because they're afraid of being hurt. So if I could address their fear of being hurt, they could love. So maybe I have to approach it backwards. In your fearlessness, in your courage, in your knowing who you are, knowing why you're there, knowing what you are doing for yourself, the other person is this joyful partner. They are the way that we participate. Unfortunately, we need them to participate, right? But what you're going to do is your experience. You keep it, you own it, you feel it, you have it. And it is a function that is with, but also separate from that other person. So if it's a negative outcome, you still have what you have for yourself. But remember, at the moment, however you need to do it for yourself, that you can override the fear of being hurt and understand this is part and parcel, just as, you know, we don't fear nighttime because we know that there's going to be a sunrise and we don't get terrified when it's winter, like, oh no, there's never going to be spring again. No, there is spring again. Okay? So just understand it and however you need to make it make sense for you, I promise you that's your key to absolute freedom, to love without fear. And that is my goal for you. Susan Winter for SusanWinter.net. Thank you for your messages on the videos you want to see. Thank you those of you who have actually called me on Magnify and asked me, hey, what do I do here? This is awesome. I'm so happy about that. And thank you for those wonderful people that I've been able to get to know through my consultation page. You guys are stellar. I'm, I'm amazed, humbled. So have a wonderful week, and thank you so much for joining me. Bye-bye.